one, the same station in Connecticut, you thought your career was over. You were totally right. I mean, it was <laughs> over. <laughs> After proving you were the worst music program director in history, your longtime radio partner up and left because you were incredibly impossible to work with. Then came Vinny Penn. He came in and applied for a job at KC 101. He wasn't interesting, interested in working with you either, but that was about to change. And welcome to the show, Mr. Vinny Penn. Yes. Yes. Vin. My man. How are you, Vinny? <laughs> Vinny. Tell me the truth, Glenn. Yeah. Halfway, halfway through McGowan, you looked at Stu and went, Oh no, <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, I don't God, think it was no. halfway through. I don't think it was halfway through. <laughs> yeah. It was it was during that Tim Patrick thing, it sunk in. <laughs> Vinny is coming. <laughs> is McGowan out there in Dallas? Yeah, is he's McGowan right there. there? Yeah. yeah, there are some people mm -hmm. worth flying out. <laughs> they, they offered. Do you know the eating? I'm aware of the eating that I am missing. The swordfish in Porterhouse. And <laughs> with Stu there, the with Stu there, the endless root beer and Fritos. I know what I'm missing. <laughs> Doritos, Vinny. Doritos, please. Doritos. That's, Thank that's, you. That's, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> So Vinny came along, and this is actually when I started working with you, mm -hmm. uh, and we would all get in a room together. I should be Stu. I should be <laughs> Stu. Oh. <laughs> Please. No. I, no. Mean I, mean down to, I mean down to the wife and everything. Down to the life, the wife, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, I miss you, and best of Lisa. Yeah, yeah, thanks. I really appreciate it. Come by never. Um, <laughs> so there was a great situation, though, when I first came working uh, with you guys, because it so was funny. you guys who were so hilarious. And then there was also Matt Faduzzi, who you guys would torture <laughs> endlessly. Do you, do you keep in touch with Faduzzi yeah. these days? Yeah, I think he hung hey, himself. Glenn, didn't he? Glenn, <laughs> God, Glenn yeah. Stu, run with this one. The, the guy's a pharmaceutical rep. <laughs> <laughs> no. That guy, that guy who caused Glenn and I to abuse Xanax is now peddling it for a living. This guy, a statement was, on the pharmaceutical industry. Oh, Matt was really a good guy. He's really a nice guy. He we nice used to guy. pound him like we pound Jeffy. Oh yeah. But then it started we to. Did. Then I think he went into therapy for a very long time, and uh, he did. He. He is a big believer in yours. He he told me earlier this week when you sat in, I don't know, you did something with Drudge. He remembered very enthusiastically. He, he, he called me one day and he said, I'm telling you, if this guy wanted to, what he could do, the show he could do, he's he's a huge fan. He remains a huge fan. He was yeah, really he misunderstood. Was a, he was a really good guy. He really really good. good guy. He well, believed in you far more than I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm in New Haven at 960 WELI. He believed in you far more than I did. <laughs> uh, all right, Vinny Penn, uh, New Haven, 960 WELI mornings. Yeah. I just I was talking to my uh, Lisa's. That's my wife, by the way, Vinny. Uh, her uh, yeah. father listens to you every day. Huge praise for your show on WVLI. Yeah. So my, thank Tanya's, you so much. Tanya's family listens to you every day, and I and I every time uh, they uh, tell me that, I say, why? No. Nah. <laughs> Vinny, nah, just nah. To put you I back gotta tell your, you what. Yeah, my, my family does not listen to you, but <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> All right, they Vinny, don't. we got to move on. Thank uh, you very much, man. Great to see you. Appreciate it. Thanks, cool. Vinny. All right. All right. All right. Happy birthday. Really funny.